What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the uncovered jailbreak and the Torin jailbreak. Both of them jailbreaks for iOS 14.3 and lower. Both of them jailbreaks that support all iOS devices. So in my opinion Uncover is inferior to the Torin jailbreak. But let's see exactly why I think that. So as you probably know Torin jailbreak was released just two days ago and it's actually pretty incredible. It's fast, reliable and it's a good jailbreak if you want something with Cilio and if you want something that doesn't reboot as much overnight. But remember this jailbreak works with iOS 14.3 and lower, the same iOS range that the Uncovered jailbreak has and Uncovered has been out for a month and a half or so. So what gives? Well the Uncovered jailbreak is made by Pound Own and Sam Bigner and the Torin jailbreak is made by this team here, basically Coolstar and their team. So two competing jailbreak teams with two different visions, two different ideas and of course two very different products. The Torin jailbreak has just been released and it's already better in my opinion than Uncover and the reasons are as follows. So as you probably know Uncover is one of the jailbreaks available right now, Check Rain is another one, but Check Rain is not really comparable to the other ones because it's in a completely different league. Check Rain works with a bootroom exploit. You will never be able to beat a bootroom exploit jailbreak because well you can just disable anything you want and that makes the jailbreak much easier to do and it's actually somehow cheating if you compare it with Uncover or with Odyssey or even with Torin which have to work with a TFP0 kernel exploit or even without a TFP0 kernel exploit as of iOS 14. But what exactly makes the Torin and the Odyssey jailbreak stand apart? Well at first is the package manager. Yes, both of them come with Cilio while the Uncovered jailbreak comes with Cydia. Now of course many of you would think oh I don't like Cilio and so on, I don't like the interface, I like the OG Cydia and stuff like that. And while I do appreciate the sentiment, Cydia is dated. It's definitely something that doesn't run perfectly fine on 2021. It's patched up and it barely ever works. For me who has a bad internet speed here in Italy, it's actually pretty damn bad. It barely loads the packages, it barely installs the packages and it's overall feeling sluggish. Not to mention the user interface hasn't been updated since iOS 7 and that wouldn't really be a problem if the performance was there, but it's not. So Cilio is actually a much more modern package manager which is an alternative to Cydia that is actually built to look like something made in 2021. So any jailbreak that uses Cilio natively would definitely have an advantage at least in speed but also in the user interface. It just looks better, I like my jailbreak to look better but at the same time I like my jailbreak to have features. And then we have another important piece in the Odyssey and Taurine jailbreaks and that is the Procursus bootstrap. This is basically the core of the jailbreak, every single binary the jailbreak uses, every single little little program that the jailbreak calls every time you install something or every time you do a command on your jailbreak has to come from the bootstrap. And as you can see there is no shortage of binaries in here, there are a lot of them and maintaining them is actually a pain. Procursus does a very very good job and it's completely open source. And contrary to popular belief, Procursus is not only for Odyssey or for Taurine. In fact I use Procursus for my private jailbreak, Blizzard jailbreak, which I use for, you know, testing and stuff and developing iSecure OS and it works pretty fine. Anybody can compile it and anybody can use it as long as they follow the license. It's made by Diatris and Curb apparently here, so this is actually quite nice. On the other hand we have Uncover which doesn't unfortunately use Procursus. It uses Elucubratus made by Sam Bingner and in this case this is not a benefit. Even though it's custom built for Uncover, it's actually more of a pain than a feature. It's hard to maintain, it's only being maintained by Sam Bingner when they have time and they do actually a very good job on maintaining the Elucubratus for what it is but it's nowhere near close to Procursus and Procursus compared to Elucubratus always has the latest version of the binaries which of course Elucubratus tends to not have. Many of the binaries inside Elucubratus are actually out of date which can indeed create problems. But the single most important thing Torin and Odyssey does and does well is getting a refined product out there. Uncovered jailbreak built by Pound to Own is actually great and it works, it serves a purpose. However, you can't be the first jailbreak for iOS 14 and the best. One of them has to be sacrificed somehow. If you release very fast, you don't have enough time to do bug fixes and development and your jailbreak will indeed suffer from a lot of bugs. And we've seen that with version 6.0.1, 6.0.2, 
0.0.0 and so on. And even right now, Uncover with 6.1.1 is still quite buggy, reboots a lot, crashes a lot, and there are overall issues that I have spotted. Sometimes it even refuses to install with various unknown errors. That's not to say Odyssey or Torin are completely bug free, because they are not. But what Coolstar and their team usually do is to wait for the time to get this released. So they basically develop the tool, make sure it's working fine, they test it, they develop it, and they take their sweet time to get this released. They don't usually race to be first, and that usually results in a better product. So yeah, if you combine the more time spent for development, combined with Cilio, which is a great package manager built for 2021 by a lot of talented developers here. And then of course you add precursors to the mix and the most importantly Libhooker which doesn't have to deal with iOS 11 and 12 and so on. Then you're pretty much good to go. Uncover on the other hand would have to rely on Cydia. They do a lot of patching in order to make it work and they actually do a great job but that doesn't change the fact that Cydia is old and no longer maintained by its creator, which is basically Soric. And then of course they use Substitute, which they have to maintain themselves. Substitute is again a very, very old project, which they have refined indeed, they have modified and added features and so on, and it does work, you've seen Uncover working pretty fine. But that doesn't change the fact that they have to maintain support for iOS 11 up to 14.3 in a single tool. So overall I believe that the Torin jailbreak is much better than the Uncover and my tests on my device definitely showed that. But don't trust me on my word, definitely check it out yourself, have your own experience with it, try it out for a couple of days and make your own opinion. That is the best opinion you can get for your use cases. So, yep, thank you for watching, I am GS Now. till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.